What's going on Excel Fanatics? Vertex is here. Today's video is showing you how to create slicers using pivot tables and then how those pivot tables can affect pivot charts. So it's a really cool function and it actually could really help you out in your presentation style and it actually would help you from an analytics standpoint as well. So it's, it's a pretty cool feature. Um, essentially it's just a filter. Um, so let's go ahead. If you guys aren't familiar with pivot tables, I highly recommend checking out one of my other videos. Um, so, but I'm just going to go ahead and assume that you already know how to do it at this point. So I'm going to use this data here. Notice I have name, state, department, and salary. I'm going to do control A, insert, pivot table, start a new one. I'm going to start a new one. I'm going to start with department and state. And I'm going to use salary as the value. I'm going to change this into currency. And I'm going to make a chart out of this. So I've gone over this before, how you make a pivot table, how you make a pivot chart. So in this case, I made the names here, but you can't see, visibly can't see them. So what if I wanted to cut into this a little bit better to see who makes up this data we're looking at? So if I go to insert, and then all the way on the side, on the side here, excuse me, is slicer. And then you notice that all the column names show up again. We're going to pick name here. Press OK. And you see how this little tab uh, this filter box pops up. So now I'm just actually going to move this out of the way. I'm just going to close this for now. Um, but you'll see the pivot chart will update as I select each of the individual names. So this kind of further breaks it down for me. And what I can actually do as well, if I hold control, I can pick multiple people at the same time. So it's kind of a cool chart, a pivot table uh, feature you can use. Um, if you hit clear filters, this will keep it full. Um, Yep, really quick and easy to use. Um, another aspect, sometimes what I like to do is actually to prevent it from updating the pivot table size. Um, I'll actually right click, pivot table options, and I'll actually get rid of this auto fit column widths on update just so it stays in one place. Uh, sometimes the column width automatically updates to get smaller. Um, it just seems like a lot of movement when you're updating and you don't really want to get too distracted. Um, so you can kind of tell here, actually, you see this looks like it gets a little cut off. Um, so if you can actually click in between columns to help fix that. Um, but you notice now there's a lot less movement than there was. So it's a little less distracting. Um, so that's pretty much it. I know it was kind of a quick video, but I wanted to just show you how to do it. Um, hopefully this helps you with uh, maybe your presentation style or helps you kind of analyze data uh, a little bit better. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.